The process to set up a pivot table is very easy. The first thing you have is you've got your data and you've met all the rules of setting up a proper database. So for example, the unique labels, every column has a label, etc. In order to set up the pivot table, what we do is we need to highlight the entire database. Now that shortcut there to highlight everything was to hold the control and shift key down and push the right and the down arrows. And then under the insert tab, there's a button called pivot table and we can click it. The benefit of highlighting the entire database is that there is a risk if there's some blanks that it won't highlight the entire thing if you only highlight one cell. When you've s asked to set up the pivot table, you'll see it even checks and it tells you what it's looking at. It's always useful just to check that you're happy that it's the correct area. You'll notice here you can also use an external data source, which is covered later. It then asks you where you want to put the pivot table, either in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. If we chose existing, we would need to choose a cell, but we're going to go into a new worksheet. When I click OK, you'll see it set up a new sheet that looks like this. What we have now is a pivot table waiting to be formed. You'll notice there's a section here for the actual report. You've got a section with all the fields and you've got where you'd want to put these fields. So whether it's column, rows, values. You'll notice that while you're clicked in the pivot table, there's a new toolbar up here where you can do a whole bunch of things, either on an analyze or design. So the, so the first thing we're going to do is just set up a pivot table. So I'm going to go down here. You'll notice there's a field called bill. Now although it is tempting to click the tick box, when you do that, Excel guesses where you want to put the field. Our recommendation is you go slightly to the right, you click and hold, and drag down where you want to put it, either in the filters, the columns, the rows, or in this case, I'm going to put it into the values, and when I let go, you'll notice that it gives us a total. What has happened is we've pulled, pulled the bill in here, it's called it sum of bill, and it's given us a 2237. If we went back to the database and we looked at that column and we add it up, notice that it's that same number, 2237. This is a very simple pivot table and you could have done that on your own. But this is where pivot tables become very useful. I'm going to go to the month, click and hold, drag it down and drop it in there. And what you'll notice is the pivot table has now gone found all the Januaries, added them up and told us the total, found all the Februarys, the total, the March, the total, and you've now got your total. So this is an extremely quick way to break down a set of data and to understand what is happening in it. Before we learn about what can be done in each of these sections, it is just important to understand that a pivot table although it looks like it's part of your spreadsheet, is technically hovering above it. It is a separate entity. So for example, if I wanted to go here and insert a line, you'll notice it can't be done. That pivot table lives on its own. Another important aspect is that in a normal spreadsheet, so for example, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to change the price of one of the numbers, in the database, notice that the number has changed. That's now 2181. In the pivot table, it hasn't changed. That's because the pivot table needs to be refreshed. It needs to be told that something has changed within the, the data. The way to do that is you can point, you right click, and you'll see there's a refresh button. And when I click refresh, you'll see the number changes now to take into account that change. So if I change back, I go here and I click refresh, you'll see we get back here. You'll see also that the format here is not great. 
you may be tempted to highlight the cells like that and use the traditional way of formatting cells and although this will work initially it's not the best way to do it because again the pivot table is not part of the cells so if you increase the pivot table size the new cells won't be formatted so you need to do everything about a pivot table through the pivot table tools.